Well, welcome back. It is Tuesday, and that means you can find the Sioux Falls Dot Business Report right here on Dakota News Now. Jody is back with us today, and you have some updates on the Empire Mall. I know Dillard's is now there, and there are some other updates. Too. Nice to see you. Welcome oh, thank back. You. Thank you. And I have a lot to catch you up on. Yes, yes. <laughs> including at the Empire Mall, um, where if you haven't walked around lately, um, you are going to see a lot of changes. First of all, of course, yes, Dillard's is open. Uh, really happy with the response to that. So I know Sioux Falls loves Dillard's. However, a lot of moves, okay? So GNC, for instance, is now in a different wing of the mall. Um, this is a new one. It's called Wonderland. It's actually a lot of kiosks come together okay. off of Center Court. That's the future garage, which is an apparel store opening later this summer. And uh, actually, Wonderland is uh, from the same owner as Aquafresh downtown, so he's very entrepreneurial. Huh. Miniso, I hope I'm saying that right, is a, a national, even international retailer opening, we think, yet this month. Um, affordable kind of fun stuff geared toward younger shoppers uh, as you might have seen go calendar moved and there's more changes to come so i know a lot of people have asked me about the food court yep there are some deals in the works for at least one of those spaces okay. hopefully more and even the former sears might get new life here before the end of the year so let's hope something comes together always something to check out there lots happening at empire Ball. shifting now to the housing market talking about property values and property taxes have been yes. a big topic so you know this is like that double-edged sword of yep. growth. So a lot of new people are moving here, they're buying houses, but values are going up and with that, yes, your property tax bill is going up in all likelihood. So if you are looking at those numbers and getting a little sticker shock, you are far from alone. Um, we did do some checking both in Minnehaha and Lincoln County and there have been what I would call significant increases in your property valuation, what the assessors are saying it is worth. So for instance, in Minnehaha County, the average one in 2024 went up 9.1 percent. Wow. Now your taxes won't reflect that until next year. However, if you look at 22 to 23, it was up 14.4 percent. But year before that, 18.4. Hmm. So I mean, these are some pretty significant numbers now layering on top of each other. Lincoln County, similar story, up 8 percent on average, again after years of double digit increases. But if you're thinking of appealing, and there is a process for that, it's right. actually happening this week. Remember, you don't get to protest your tax bill. You okay. just get to <laughs> dispute how much they're saying your house is worth. So uh, that process is available. They actually will sit down and talk to you about how they came up with your number. So something to keep in mind. Interesting. Jody. as always, thank you for being with you're us. You're welcome. And you can stay up to date with the latest business headlines by heading over to Sioux Falls Business.